for a few people to jump on. Morning, Paul. All right, everybody, we are live at the Best Western for our 8 o'clock Saturday morning walk around. And joining us first is uh, Tim Malbon. Yes. Tim is the owner. Yeah, I'm one of the owners and managing general partner of FMB Associates Limited Partnership, uh, doing business as Best Western Plus Beach Resort. Now, Tim, last time you and I and Sharon were uh, were standing or sitting in this spot, it was yeah. about a year ago, <laughs> we were doing a show. I don't even remember what the show was about, but uh, it was a beautiful night. The sun set and uh, the place was packed. Yeah, yeah, it sure was. Well, I have tons of uh, changed in just uh, one day. And that was a great show. We had a, sitting out in the nice grassy area that we had here and... and uh, we were having an excellent year, and, and you know this was this hurricane was tough. We've been through sharing many market disruptions, uh, BP oil spill to uh, COVID, yeah, red tide, red tide COVID, hurricanes, hurricanes, tropical storms. But this uh, this market disruption has been been the worst by far. So talk about that day that you first came back and saw. Uh, for the first time, what had happened? Well, I uh, I live in the same neighborhood as Sharon, and we we evacuated probably 35 miles east of Immokalee and stayed at a friend's farm. And I couldn't get a hold of any of them in the neighborhood to see what anything was like, and I couldn't get a hold of anybody to uh, even see if the roads were passable to, to uh, get back in. So I came in on I think on Friday. And so we got on the beach on Saturday, and we couldn't even pull in the parking lot. I mean, it was, there was two to four foot of sand in the parking lot. We walked in the lobby, and it was just, a, just wires and debris and just devastation like we had never seen. Um, let's, not, let's not jump ahead. Let's, let's go over here first so we can explain okay. to people uh, what's going on with the pool. And what happened to the pool so the first thing is for everybody that's out there you, you are rebuilding you are uh, eventually going to open up again and everything is is uh, in the works to to get rolling yes yeah we're waiting on the on the permitting process and that seems to be it seems to be uh, a lot of what's going on, on the beach now it seems like everybody jumped in got all the demo work done everything's kind of stalled out everybody's in planning phase and permitting phase um so that's that's where we are now. So yeah, the pool shell's fine. That's uh, is it okay to walk up there? Sure. And so this is another uh, example of what this powerful storm did. This was uh, the pool area. If I remember, right, you had like the tiki huts or stuff around on the outside of the yeah, pool, and tiki hut here, we had one there, and then we had a larger one down here for a little picnic area with a with a gas grill. Um, cottage yeah, we had a cottage. And, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, had a little. Uh, yeah, where's we, that? <laughs> we never found one speck of that cottage. No kidding. Nothing. I mean, it was, and actually, both sides they were. I mean, they cleaned their uh, lot up over there, but this one's still got. They haven't done too much on uh, on this side, but. And this was all grass, and and uh, where people would just come out and sit uh, oh, yeah. on uh, you know benches and things like that, and enjoy the beach. Yeah, we had a, uh, you know, it's more. Our, I'd say our demographics were more families, sure, um, and senior citizens, uh, any couples and stuff like that. People that wanted some a little more low key, um, somewhere more they could relax and not. Uh, you know, we we kind of call it close enough, but but far away. You're you're close enough to all the action down there, but right. you're far away from the noise and the crowds. Here. Right, walking distance to yeah, Times Square. Exactly. And Sharon, you guys had uh, the the jet skis and the parasails and the chairs and all that, and yeah. and the, you saved the jet skis and and what happened to the other stuff? 
So we were or holiday water sports. We've been working with the Best Western since 1993. So we've been on this beach a long time. Uh, we were located right over there. Anybody that's been here before, you know our little booth has been over there for what 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little booth over there. Um, and yeah, so we took all of our wave runners off the island and our carriage sailboat off the island. Um, and we had it in a storage area that was fenced. And it still got flooded with four feet of water. And the, luckily, the wave runners just kind of floated and bobbed around, bumped into each other, but we didn't lose them. They didn't sink. So we did. We were able to save our wave runners. But some of the equipment that we left on the beach for every storm, like our trailer that was full of beach, the blue beach chairs and umbrellas that we always had out here, every yep. day, beautiful setup. Every yep. day. Um, we parked those kind of behind the building to, to protect them. And the same with our booth that we used to work out of. Because that's where they sat for Charlie and Irma, and you know, they're gone. They all, they're just gone. I, we found one of the trailers full of chairs in the canal back over here. Wow. Underwater. Across the Stara Boulevard. Yeah, across the and sunk in the canal. And we couldn't get it out. I think he was probably pulled it out by now. Yeah. Um, so we lost, you know, all of those chairs. We still have some at the shop, but anyway, yeah, so luckily we were able to the main equipment, but you know, we still have a lot of we still have a lot that we have to rebuy, rebuild. So we're going to talk about your reopening and all that. But Tim, let's uh, let's take a little walk through the the, the lobby and and. Uh, okay. First of all, how high do you think the water came up? The water came up uh, in the second floor rooms, probably um, three feet, and it washed. It didn't blow out any of the uh, the entry doors but it washed everything against the entry doors so you couldn't come in from that side. So we, we had to take a ladder and go up each no kidding. balcony to get in the room to, uh, just to uh, clean everything out of the, uh, the rooms. And um, since then we've got, we, we demoed all the, pretty much everything out of the property. Uh, all the sheetrock, every every aspect of uh, all the furniture, everything's, everything's out and we're, like I said, we're ready to hit the ground running once we get the permitting process. We're ordering, uh, ordering all of our, our FFME and new furniture, and it's gonna, it's gonna start out. Uh, we're, we're looking at a, working with a local designer. And it's, it's gonna be more of a kind of a uh, driftwood. Nice. Color and a, kind of lighten it up. And, yeah. And uh, upgrade the uh, the bathroom. It's gonna go with all showers. So, do you ever just stand out on the beach out there and look this way and say, holy shit? Yes. I did. I'll tell you, the first day I came here, I, I cried. Yeah. Looked over at our cottage and we never found anything. Not one speck of it. There have been generations of families that yeah. grew up in that cottage. Yeah, we were. Stayed year after year. And, we were talking about seeing some of the comments last week on our yeah. page when we just said we were going to come down here about the memories that people have and they remember the room they were in or you know what they did when they were you know when they were down here it's just i mean that's what the beach is all this beach is all about so exactly. all right let's go to the lobby and see uh what's going on we're at the best western everybody with tim and sharon All right, where you, did the door used to be? <laughs> Somewhere right here. The doors to the beach. This was the front desk area. Breakfast area. That's who's manning the front desk now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now we got a Now, everybody, so some other people were asking about some kind of pet. Is there some kind oh, of, what's uh, that about? Oh, oh. These are, uh, these are uh, pet yellow date from Amazon pair. Okay. You, well, you love your wife too, right? Yeah. I'm, I mean, you made it sound like he really loves your wife. <laughs> uh, so this was uh, obviously the restroom area, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah that was a men's room. <laughs> Women's room was over there. This was the uh, this was basically the kitchen for the continent for the breakfast in the morning. Right. And we're gonna do some a little bit of changes. On this, we used to have a coffee station here. I think we're gonna move that over there to kind of uh, create a little, little better flow for the breakfast. 
right? <laughs> Got a beach runner waving out there. Yep, yep. How you doing? Can't hear a word he's saying. <laughs> so yeah, it's a... Uh... How about we go out in, in the parking lot and take a look at the, uh, the building from there and you can kind of give us an idea what the plan is for the, to rebuild. That one of the great things too about here is you got plenty of parking. Yeah. Yeah. During, well, during the holiday weekends, it gets a little tight. But yeah, the, the rebuild is going to be, um, yeah, we're going to, like I said, we're going to go back through all these rooms. Like I said, we demoed everything out of them, all the, uh, all the drywall to all the furniture, um, took the tubs out. So it's basically a, it's back to concrete in the rooms. So we're we're going to redo everything. And with the footprint that we have, there's not a ton different that we can do, but we're going to put back what we had just for the, just upgraded new, uh, new furniture and, and uh, a little different style, bring it up to, like I said, the kind of driftwood lightened look to it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so that's, that's the plan so far. What's, what <coughs> is the timetable that you might be able to share with people about what you, what you think is realistic to open? Uh, it, that one's hard to say. Um, I would hopefully say by December, um, December or January, um, it's, this is going to take a lot, and it's you know, back when we did this in 2008, and it was a concrete shell. It was uh, you know, it was a perfect storm because all the trades were they were basically they were slow, and um, we got the best trades out here to do the work, and uh, we got it put back together and redone fast. However, now we have everybody on the beach competing for the same resources, the yeah. same trades. Yeah. So it's uh, it creates a uh, Great slowdowns and plus the, uh, the uh, supply chain issues and just getting just getting uh, getting equipment prior to this was uh, was difficult. So now it's even it's even worse. What are you What are you doing? Are you here every day and you're yeah yeah we're pretty much uh, here every day. But the weekends we'll come in on the uh, I'll come in on a Saturday here and there and just just make sure that we don't have people parking or walking all over the property and stuff like sure. that. And you, you still have people with, with the signs out there that say no trespassing. Just yeah. Walk right in and start trying to walk walk all around the property yeah. and, and stuff like that. But, you hear from your regular customers? Yeah. How do you they all, you hear from them in email or social media or? Um, email, social, you name it. Email, social media. We've had several uh, come in and uh, and uh, we walked them around the property and talked to them and just stopped by to say hello and had quite a few of them. We had a um, couple out of Miami that said, you know, we've, our whole family has uh, grown up here. All of our kids have grown up here, and, and uh, she was in tears, and, you know, it, it's tough to see. Yeah. It's, it's, it's difficult to, uh, difficult to deal with, with it, especially in looking at the project that we have moving forward, and, hey, we need to get this place back right, and get these, get these guests back in here, and, and uh, get the, get that family, get that family feel of the property back going again, and, we're looking forward to it. Well, you know, the good the good news is it sounds like you got customer loyalty and, you know, they're going to wait. I mean, it's not like there's a thousand places that they can go right now, but they they want to come back to their place. Yeah. And this is this is it. Yeah. Well, we're, in the, uh, we're in the process of uh, making it as good as it was and better with the uh, with the new uh, furniture. That hadn't that had probably been 10 years since we changed out the case goods. Uh, so now with the the new look, I think uh, the new look of the lobby will be, it'll be nice. Yeah. Now, Sharon, you guys are going to be in business a little, little earlier doing some stuff. Can you tell us what that's all about? Um, we're going to, we also have location at the Pink Shell and at Diamond Head. And those, those properties are opening a little sooner. So we're going to start um, opening up at those locations, you know, kind of on a limited basis. And eventually we'll be talking about opening here maybe on weekends, you know, giving folks a place to park and um, coming out and still getting beach chairs. And yeah, because the people are here. No, they're coming. people here, yeah. So there's a lot of people, you know, down at the park and whatnot. So, um, yeah, we want to we get started. Our staff is really ready to 
on the beach. Sure. They've been doing, you know, we opened that other business and the, the debris removal business. So they've been doing that this whole time. And um, for all the people that have been, sorry, I have something in my eye, coming to Best Western, um, I've had people ask me how Gary is. He was our manager here yeah. for, forever. Yeah, a lot He's, of them. Yeah, they want to know how Gary's Gary. doing. Gary's doing good. He's What's he doing? For us. He's still working okay. for us in our, the new debris company. Okay. I mean, but he's ready. He's like, you know, as soon as I can get back to the beach. So if you've come to the Best Western and rented a chair in the last 10 years, you probably know <laughs> Gary. And then AJ, the last couple of years, he's right. been down here. So um, they're, all, they're both still working for us cool. in a different capacity. But now we're going to get them building booths and, you know, we've been cleaning the wave runners and, of course, you have to start them all the time, so there's still work to do. Is the, is the water safe enough to go out on, on those vehicles, you I think? Mean, I think the water quality, as far as I know, every, I watch that all the time, the water quality is good. Yeah. Um, you know, I, there's, you know, there's going to be stuff in the water. Yeah. That, there's always been stuff okay. in the water. You know, I mean, how can you ever say at any time this, ever that, you know, there's not going to be something floating in the water so, I'm out, I'm know, out, yeah, I'm out here every day, and I'm seeing less and less yeah, big debris washing up on okay. the beach. You're having little small stuff here and there, but it's not a... You don't think there are cars out there or... Yeah. or I don't. Yeah. I don't think you're going to see that too much of that anymore. I've heard from um, Lee County representatives that there's more stuff in the back there. Yeah, because it would all kind of blew that way yeah, from, yeah, the, from the from the Gulf. Everything that uh, washed out of here, we found... These houses held up pretty good. They, they, the upper they, levels. Yeah, the upper levels did fine. And the uh, the bottom bottom portion of them all been uh, restuccoed. And yeah. They've been they've been working. Uh, they look like they did what they were supposed to do. Yeah. They blew out on the bottom and probably took everything with it into the back into the back bay there. And. Uh, but the upper levels are good. So, Sharon, did you have a date in mind that you guys might be ready to do something uh, open? We're going to try a soft, you know, a, a little opening in March, I think. Um, we're just, it's like, we're going to tiptoe through. Yeah. We're going to, you know, see what happens, be ready in March, have all our ducks in a row. If it's not time, we'll wait, you know. Um, so we're just going to kind of see. We'd like, we'd like to get started, I mean, our staff, even if it's just weekends. Yep. You know, <laughs> I've heard over and over, like, I'll be so happy if I can just, you know. Yeah. That The stress of running out of beach chairs is so much better than the stress of, exactly. you know, what they're doing now. I so, love it. Yeah. I'd love to check in our regular guests, but at this point, I'd rather have a disgruntled one hollering at me at the front desk. <laughs> <laughs> so a bad yeah. day on the yeah. beach is way better yeah. than this. Tim, any final thing you want to say to customers or, or people out there that are watching uh, about the resort and or anything? Well, you know, this is this has been difficult. It's been difficult for everybody, and the outpouring that we've had from our uh, repeat guest is has been heart heartwarming, heartbreaking, and we we look forward to having our guests back, and we really do, we really do miss them. first person to walk through that door to check in well thank you thank you both yeah. and uh we appreciate you uh working hard to get back open and having us out here to talk about it all right folks we are going to have time for one more video so stay tuned and we'll talk in about 15 minutes